While the waters are certainly rough in the Atlantic, everything you need to know about Hurricane Lee is coming at you right here. It was a historic intensification. Since 2001, when the National Hurricane Center put out their five-day track, we have not seen an expected forecast of intensification really this dramatic since that was published in 2001. What you're looking at here is the hurricane hunters flying into the eye of Lee, witnessing some really dramatic energy. Look at the structure of that eye wall. It has since changed a little bit, and that's where I want to bring in meteorologist Rhythm Reet. Rhythm, this storm, it has been tough to track. We're talking cat five to four to three, back to four. What's happening right now? So as of right now, it's down to a cat three. It is still going strong in that west northwesterly direction, but those wind speeds have fallen to just about 185 kilometers compared to what we recorded earlier in the week where it was over 250. It really was an impressive storm and I think for so many people it sparks a lot of curiosity as to how common these category 5 storms are becoming. Just to put it into perspective over the last eight years in the Atlantic Basin we have seen eight category 5 storms but as we look back to 1970 to 2000 we saw six category five storms during that time. So on average, we saw one cat five every five years, but over the last eight years, we have seen one per year. So the intensity and the frequency of them is becoming more common. So let's break down. What does a category five actually mean? Well, a category five is basically its wind speed. When we're taking a different look at the different categories, they're broken down in terms of the wind speed and the damage. Category five, well, you're looking at 250 kilometers an hour wind or more. And when we're talking about it in terms of maybe what we've seen with Fiona, Fiona made landfall at about 160 and that was devastating in itself. And then also what we're taking a look at is that storm surge. When we're taking a look at category five, you can have a storm surge of over of over 5.5 mm -hmm. meters of waves. It really is the most catastrophic and it can be the most deadly part of these storms. Storm surge was horrible in Florida just last week when Adalia was making landfall. So Rhythm, now let's talk about the eye wall because we saw some really incredible structure with the eye wall, but it looks like it's gone under some reformation. Yeah, so when we did see this earlier, even yesterday, we got to see a little bit more of that structure in terms of that eye wall. But when we are going to be looking at it as we went through the day yesterday into today, well, it has broken down a little bit thanks to a lot of the shear that this hurricane has experienced. And that's what brought it down from a Cat 5 just a couple of days ago down to a Cat 3 this morning. Now, we know that this storm is going to impact places with some really big surf into places like the Bahamas, Bermuda, Turks and Cape. Coast, Puerto Rico, but where is the storm going next? That really is the big question here. Well, when we're taking a look at the intensity of this storm, we're going to continue to see it deteriorate for just the next 24 hours. Looking at it going down to Cat 2, thanks to a lot of the wind shear in the atmosphere. However, as it continues to move through the Atlantic, it's going to enter an area with less sugar and it's looking to re-intensify up to a category four. Okay, now people in Atlantic Canada are listening closely. Could this have an impact for places like Nova Scotia and Newfoundland? Well, it's a bit too early to say as of right now. When we're taking a look at the tracks right now, it is going to be wrapped around this high pressure that ha is going to grab it. And then it, it does look like it's going to make that northwards trend. However, since we are a little bit still more than a week out, it's hard to say for certain what track this is going to take. All right, all eyes on Lee over the next week. Thanks for them.